Welcome to Magic Gathering Strat. I'm Bava. I'm playing a friendly game against Axel777, who chatted me up. Um, he reads the articles on Magic Gathering Strat and offered uh, a match. So, he wanted to play Popper. So I pulled out uh, Pesky Clerics. Um, and I'll keep my three lander. I love Pesky Clerics. I love them. And I'll never stop loving them. He's playing Urzatron. That seems challenging. We'll grab some tapped land. I think there's the playset of black land destruction in here. Which we're going to need. I'm not sure what... I mean, we can Pestilence for a bunch. Making him pay a lot to attack doesn't seem like it makes too much of a difference. Tron is awesome. Um, we can unmake things, uh, which is going to be key. He's only got so many threats. So we kill the Fangrid Marauders. Um, There's a mole drifter, and we are not unmaking mole drifter. Getting a pestilence. Seems good, so we can just kill the mole drifter. Um, so black, wait, wait, black. Yeah, no need to attack, no need to block. Alrighty, so he's got Tron, and we've got <clears throat> um, Seagate Oracle. All right, so all the things we don't have to care about.
We get Wall of Hope, and then we can gain life. I wonder, so the Spirit Never Dies was a black-white modern tokens deck that had some fun uh, fun hijinks. Uh, check it out on the channel. Uh, as a popper deck, you lose the combos, but I'm wondering if there's any way that you can sacrifice oodles and oodles of Spirit tokens for Mass Profit and Popper. Uh, if you know of any, let me know. Um, I can't think of any super ideal sack outlets. That really makes that worthwhile. Okay, so we've got Pestilence, um, and we'll just grab all of Hope. <clears throat> no, we don't need to attack. Um, so I think we can just Pestilence for two, because then we can block his guys next turn. And we don't have to worry. That other jank. All right. Who don't love pestilence, I say. Um, so I don't mind if they attack. And I've got two unmakes, which makes me feel pretty good. If I read the bones, it makes me feel pretty good too. So I'm pretty happy right now. I'll actually just F6, because I don't think I'm going to do any pestilencing. He's going to get Moldrifter again. <laughs> He's got two expedition maps out there, so even if I were stopping his Tron, he could go nuts. I think maybe the idea... Oh no. So if you kill all those creatures, usually Tron still has Rolling Thunder, and they'll beat you. Unless you gain a lot of life before they can really take off like that. Red mana for a... Firebolt to the face. I feel like he's trying, starting to think about getting me into Rolling Thunder range. Oh, I should have Pestilenced once. My bad. Alright, so I get the Faithful, but I can read the bones. And I'll tap these. There's another Read the Bones, and there's a Castigate. Um... take both of these. Alright. <clears throat> so castigating seems good, but not quite as good as just killing his Moldrifter again. Um, big stuff. 
There's a Fangrid Marauder. That gets unmade. Faux show. Sure. He's going to gain some life, though. Uh, he must have been waiting. Waiting to get that guy out before he cracked his maps. He didn't need his maps to get Tron, so... There's another tower. I wonder if I wouldn't get another mine just to protect the... Uh, Protect Tron a little bit more. Probably he will. Unless he just goes for towers. It's more mana. But if the mine dies, he's in trouble. He's up to 26. I don't know if I'm worried yet. And he's going for towers. Alright, so we can get another Wall of Hope. Which is actually pretty good, and then just unmake this. Alright, so now we have life gain and pestilence, which is pretty good. Grindy, grindy, grindy cleric deck. I love you. Never change. interesting white white black cast for white white black on you go away Fangren Marauder you're drunk All tapped out. <clears throat> Gain two more life. Hooray! Don't take five damage. Also, hooray. Uh oh. Uh, Firebolt on one of my walls. Yeah. I gained two more life. Not a huge deal. <clears throat> um, chromatic stars. <clears throat> I'll go to swamp. Um, first off, I want information about his hand. Castigate is one of my favorite cards. There's the Rolling Thunder. It's exiled. Thank you. Good night. Uh, we can keep up on make. Honestly, I just want to read the bones.
Um, hmm. Land is good. Put on bottom. We're starting to look pretty good on land, to be honest. So we'll put both of these on the bottom. <laughs> uh, thank goodness that we did that. Okay. I played a swamp. So that's fine. Um... I guess we can attack. Alright, so I feel much better having God as Rolling Thunder. Probably it's just a one of in his deck. So he gets back. A mold drifter again. It's fine. He can deck himself before I beat him, and that's okay too. Yep. <clears throat> hmm. Ah, there is the crusher. We need something that has pro black. We need a little bit more black mana. All right, this is a wash. Uh, end step pestilence for one. Oh, hmm. <clears throat> All right. So we need to unmake white, white, black. All right, you have all the mana in the world. I've killed your crusher. I wish I could have six and just stop at your end step. I don't think there's a way to do that. F6, but stop at the end step. Always stop. I don't know. Cause I don't, I don't need to do anything here, but I just want to hit this pestilence trigger later. I mean, I could do it now. It's not a whole lot of point. I could use one of my accolades. I'm sad I didn't hit one with either of my read the bones. They're probably around somewhere. There's a Fangren Marauder. Um, just having a one drop would be good, actually. Need so much life off these guys. They are really the all stars of this deck. Uh, we're going to win on time, regardless of what else happens. This flow 
floating a red mana. It's gaining life just in case I uh, unmake his Marauder again. He's at 35. What are we at for black mana? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 black mana. Okay, so he's firebolting my Wall of Hope. Which means I can't block, but I gain two life anyway, so... It's totally the same difference. <clears throat> Better off firebolting me. Can't pestilence. He just keeps doing things. He's down to 23 cards. I'm curious if he's going to run out of time or deck himself first. So I could, no, I can Pestilence for four and then Faithful for four, but it's not great. Oh, look at that. <clears throat> That's what I want. I just want to kill everything. I can kill everything and then get Scholar of Athreos. It's pretty good. Uh oh. Lost connection. Killed all his stuff and he disappeared. Alright, well, we'll pause it and see if he comes back. Well, it looks like Axel's not coming back. He's got uh, 48 seconds left on his clock, so we'll call this a match. Uh, but thank you, Axel, for the game. Um, sorry we didn't get to finish uh, even one game. It's a pretty cool matchup. Uh, pesky Clerics showing that it can hold its own um, against anything, even awesome decks like Rugtron. So thanks for watching Magic Gathering Strat. I'm Bava. Um, check out the Faithless Looting articles on magicgatheringstrat.com. Uh, last week was Faithless Looting number four, monocolored decks, which I'll be doing some more videos of today. Um, and the deck I was playing today was Pesky Clerics, which won uh, number two. And uh, it's a super fun deck, and you can find the, the deck list for this deck there as well. I'm waiting for the pop-up thing to say I won because he ran out of time. Maybe it doesn't happen because he lost connection. Um, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you all next time.